New at 10 tonight, a new report says two retail chains are selling handbags, shoes, and other fashion accessories with toxic levels of lead. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama spoke with the Center for Environmental Health that issued this report. So, Jana, what's their warning for consumers? Well, Julie, they really wanted to raise awareness. This nonprofit, which is based in Oakland, says that they found lead in common name brands, and they found them in popular retail stores. People usually don't think of shopping as a health hazard, but a report by CEH, the Center for Environmental Health, this week announced that discount retail chains, Ross and Burlington, have been selling products with high levels of lead. What we found is that handbags, um, uh, belts, wallets, shoes, whether they're leather or they're full leather, right, disproportionately have high levels of lead. Kizzy Charles Guzman is the chief executive officer of CEH. She says in 2011, CEH won a legal settlement against hundreds of retailers, requiring them to reduce lead levels in fashion accessories. The CEH report released this week says Ross and Burlington remain the worst offenders. CEH investigators went to 63 Ross stores and 15 Burlington stores across California, including more than one dozen in the the Bay Area. Lab tests showed hundreds of their items under a wide range of brand names had lead levels above 300 parts per million compared to the Consumer Product Safety Commission's limit of 100 parts per million for children's items. We absolutely need safer uh, standards. We absolutely need better regulations at the federal level. Lead is a, um, is a toxicant that has a tremendous impact on our body. It is especially harmful to children. If you go to um, any of the stores in in, like in the city, you assume that they they're safe, like their products are safe to buy. I touch my handbag, you know, the handles of my bags, and I touch my face. I touch my all kinds of stuff. By law, California employers also have an obligation to protect their workers from lead. Under Cal OSHA's regulation specifically, they have an obligation to be aware of when lead exposures are happening, and then to conduct testing. Um, of their employees and their environments to make sure those lead exposures are controlled for. Robert Mutri is an attorney with the California Chamber of Commerce. He says Cal OSHA just passed new stricter lead regulations last month that apply to all workplaces, including retailers. Under the prior regulation, you had workers with exposure up to 50 micrograms of lead, and then you're dropping that down to 10 micrograms of lead over an eight-hour shift. So it's, it's drastically lower. I did reach out to both Ross and Burlington, and tonight Ross sent us a statement that reads in part, At Ross, the health and safety of our customers and associates is of utmost importance. We have policies in place that require suppliers to meet applicable product safety and labeling standards. If we learn of allegations that our products are not in compliance, we investigate and take prompt action. So far, we have not received any response from Burlington. We have posted a link to the report on our website under Weblinks. Julie. Yeah, it's kind of scary when you think about it, especially if you really think about it for workers and for consumers. But really, if we look at our products, there's really no way you can look at something and tell if it has lead in it unless it's tested, right? There isn't. Uh, one of the things they found is that in faux leather, um, the fake leather, that is where they were the highest. They emphasize that it's important to wash your hands. And there are also some consumer test kits, you know, like you do paint, uh, let for, test for lead paint. They, those are out in the market. But really, um, they say they would like to see more regulation uh, from people of these companies to put pressure to make that change. Yeah, so when it's made, so then the rest of us don't have to worry about it. All right, that would be good. Jana, Thank you.